Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is your boy EXF at EXF Gaming. Now, today I'm going to be bringing you Fire Emblem Hero news. Now, a couple days ago on the Fire Emblem Heroes news um, Twitter page, um, we have a confirmation for the next. Well, I, I don't want to say next, but a confirmation for a Grand Hero battle, and that is Sniper in the Dark Clarice. Now, at this point, I don't know, or we don't know if she's going to be the next uh, Grand Hero battle. We don't know that be just because there were other characters that were confirmed to come back, uh, such as uh, Michaelis, he will be coming back fairly soon. No confirmation on the date for him as well, so we'll see what happens, but I would suspect Clarice will be the next, or if not, the next two, or the second one after whoever comes up next like for now like you know don't take my word for it like as of this recording um, I don't have information on dates but we do know that Clarice will be coming back of course we still don't have information in terms of what her build is going to be um, how you know her attack spread but archers um, are you know traditionally there aren't the most strongest units they could be fast but they're not the most uh, strong in terms of offense um, just because if they were um, I, I would assume they would be the most busted units in the game so usually I think they're a little bit nerfed in my opinion just to keep them uh, a little bit um, tamed it, I guess that's that's the right word for it um, especially with the brave bow like brave bow will be like it makes them busted right if you give them a high attack with brave bow so on your screen you see her um, tentative uh, attack spread just for the five star so we have 37 HP, attack at 31, speed at 34, defense 25, and resistance at 20. So looking at this, like she's not better than Cordelia because Bridal Cordelia has HP of 36, attack of 35, speed of 35, defense of uh, 19, resistance. Well, the, like her defense really doesn't matter, but it's really her offense that really matters because her offensive spread is 35, 35, attack and speed. And we have our Clarice at 31, 34. So she's not really all that much better. So Bridal Cordelia is definitely still a stronger or, or is still the strongest archer as we know it uh, at this moment uh, as of this recording but Clarice does have some redeeming qualities now if you didn't know Clarice is uh, from um, the Fire Emblem game New Mysteries of the Emblem um, that's one of the old ones uh, it's the same one with uh, Katarina and uh, Barth I believe um, but anyways moving along uh, we have her Abilities now we were getting like the, our last one was uh, the Legion Legion Grand Hero Battle and we have his unique weapon which was Legion Axe uh, which uh, reverses the boon of uh, units uh, on the map so we have Clarissa's bow this time around and what it does is that after the unit attacks foes within two spaces of target suffer attack and speed minus five through their next actions now that is that that's a huge debuff um, on Clarice's part so I can see that or I can see her being a support support archer I think she could be probably the best support archer in the game probably in my opinion I mean she could use that for offensive threat like threatening offense I guess I'm not too sure but uh, she definitely needs to be behind some kind of uh, obstacle just to utilize this um, a little bit better just because it only activates only on um, initial contact so let's let's go through her specials and her passives um, as you get her so her specials we got night sky and glimmer which uh, grants uh, 50 percent plus the damage dealt which will be more or less useless for her just because she's not that strong to begin with so uh, my suggestion would be probably to add uh, moonbow probably that's probably the best one I could think of I mean maybe even Luna Luna might work um, if you uh, give her brave bow probably um, and let's go through her passives here her passives we got poison strike and we got threatened defense which can actually be in conjunction with her Clarice's bow which will debuff three different things at the same time attack speed and defense which can allow um, Clarice to actually do some actual damage even though she's lacking in damage and obviously poison strike you know to complement her so she's definitely in my opinion one of those care uh, one of those units that can um, whittle down and do a lot of chip damage um, if she can't take down a foe at once it'll like in two turns definitely she could I, I believe that she can take down a foe she's fast enough and her deb uh, debuff and speed is good enough 
for her to actually uh, make her a threat on, you know, for two turn uh, battles or even drawn out battles, uh, definitely a threat. So I could see her being really annoying in the arena. I think I think this this unit will be like I, I like units like this, um, which have you know a little bit more um, strategy involved. Right, so like Poison Strike, which does chip damage, threaten defense, which can combine with uh, Clarissa's bow, uh, that kind of thing. So um, as it as we know it, we like we have no information on what she can do as a four star, or three star, um, just a five star. We have a little bit of information, and again, little luck luster in terms of being an offensive threat compared to Cordelia. Even, like I think her stats are really representative of Klein's stats, but again, because she has a Clarissa's bow, it she does make a difference in my opinion she may be better than Klein um, I, I think I'll put her above Klein um, but below Cordelia and Takumi for sure so definitely uh, I, I would like to have her I would like to have her on a team um, definitely and definitely leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below definitely share the word spread the word of this video let your friends know and I think I'll be doing a lot more of these of these news news emblem. I, I think I'll call it like I'll put a playlist for for this um, at the end card uh, news emblem. So anything new that I'll find, definitely I'll let you guys know. Let you guys be on top of it and uh, get you guys prepared. You know, if you need to save orbs for a new banner or something like that, definitely I'll do that. So make sure you spread the word. Subscribe for more news such as this. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Again. Thank you very much for all those people who have done so and at 200 subs we're going to do a google play giveaway so definitely hit that sub button it means a lot to me that's all i have for you guys today i think um there'll be another couple videos on news i believe in the next couple days so definitely make sure to check that out and i'll see you guys in my next installment